Welcome to part one of the Canyons News election series. Today's topic of discussion is the economy. Let's meet our guest. Um, I have a PhD in political science from UCLA. I taught at UCLA, I taught at Pepperdine, and then got hired here. And I love teaching here at College of the Canyons. My area of specialties is American politics, um, the media, elections, and public opinion. So I wanted to start with what was by far the most popular on both sides. This was 81% of total voters, 68% of Harris voters, and 93% of Trump voters. Everyone seems to be concerned about the economy. From my research, it looks like what Harris's platform is um, kind of going for is the child tax credit being bumped up from 2000 to 6000 in the first year, stuff like the corporate tax going up from 21% to 28%. And then, of course, one of the big headline grabbers is the unrealized capital gains tax that has been proposed for people with over $100 million in wealth. I'm curious what your read on those are. There's a bunch of people who are going to vote for Kamala Harris no matter what. There's a whole bunch of people who are going to vote for former President Trump no matter what. It's going to be those people in the middle who are going to ultimately determine the outcome of the election. As a matter of fact, it's going to be the people in the middle in seven particular states who are going to determine the outcome of the election. And so one of the things I think both campaigns are trying to do is sort of say uh, who's to blame for this pain that you're feeling. And I think very much what the Harris campaign is, going to, is trying to do is say this is our plan for the future. We're looking, her thing is a new way forward. So I think the Trump campaign wants to say the predicament you're in is her fault. I was able to find some of those specific policies from the Harris side. A lot of the Trump campaign stuff seems to be kind of just inverses of that, wherever raising that uh, corporate tax, Trump wants to bring it down. Trying to fight the prices in the grocery store, we're going to bring in tariffs. And so it seems like there's kind of a very just hardline opposite stance philosophically on how they feel like they're going to fix the economy. And so I guess that is one of those issues that it does kind of just come down to whichever side you personally feel like you're going to agree with. Right, and they, I think that's absolutely right. And then when you think about each of those proposals, for your, for your average political scientist, understanding the implications of uh, unrealized gains on ta ca capital gains, quite frankly, I don't know, right? I have a sense of it, but I'm not an economist. I think one of the other challenges that's happening right now, and this is sort of what's going on with the Trump campaign, is that his advisors are begging him, talk about the economy. Mm -hmm. Focus on the economy. Every word out of your mouth should be about the economy and some of the other issues that I'm sure you want to talk about. Um, and he's talking about Haitians eating cats and dogs. He's talking about mass deportation. He's talking about tariffs, right? He's talking about all kinds of other things. On the other hand, I think the Harris campaign doesn't want to talk about people's economic pain and suffering. They want to talk about the future. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Eli Kern.